A few years ago, we brought you a story about a couple who renovated a general store from the 1850s in Granville. Well, apparently that story is still unfolding. As Teresa Bush discovered, the old store now is a venue of good old time music. We welcome you tonight to Sutton Old Time Music Hour and we're honored to have the band that brought bluegrass music to Sutton General Store, Stony Lonesome. Let's welcome <laughs> Granville's population makes a significant jump every Saturday night. In fact, it grows by about 20%. Folks from miles around make their way to western Jackson County for a relaxing evening of bluegrass and old time music. Her golden hair is tied around my memory. The concert stage is inside one of the community's oldest structures, the T.B. Sutton General Store. The store was built in 1880 by the Cooper family. They operated it until 1925. It's always been a two-story store with the balcony that you currently see. At that time, Mr. Ben Sutton bought it and he operated it until the early 1970s, at which time it remained closed until we opened it basically in April of 2008. In 2001, Harold and Betty Sutton, no relation to the first owners, bought the dilapidated building, renovated it, and opened it occasionally for bands to play. Then in 2007, the couple donated it to the Granville Museum Association with the understanding it would be preserved in some fashion. Randall Clemens is the group's president. They are basically in their 70s and they wanted it to be carried on and they realized, and the community realized, that it was such a tourist attraction and that's what Granville needed to be able to maintain our quality of life and with the lake and whatever. And so they saw what the museum had done and thought that if we could get the volunteers to do it, that it would be a great way to see what they had wanted to happen, happen. So what do you do with a remodeled general store? Well, the first thing that came to everybody's mind was to make it a music venue. After all, Harold and Beverly had success doing it. Randall, who is not a musician, immediately enlisted the help of veteran bluegrass musician Sam Stout, the leader of Stony Lonesome, the very first band to perform inside Sutton's store. She lets me die a little more each day. Now, we were here in 2005 playing, uh, just jamming under shade trees. It was really hot that day. We were just looking for a cool place to, uh, to get out of the sun. And we came in and I talked to him and I said, look, I said, do you mind us just getting some straight back chairs and, and sitting here in the store and playing? And really that's where music in this store began. Sam suggested the shows be taped for radio play complete with live commercials just like the Grand Ole Opry. McCall's is known for their great specials each week. And so far, line. it's working not only for the store, but for the performers who need and want exposure close to home. Great bluegrass music isn't the only thing being served up here every Saturday night at Sutton General Store. With a reservation, you can be served a delicious Southern meal served family style. The meal is served before the radio show in what used to be the feed room. And while the menu changes week to week, the end result is the same. You won't go home hungry. Has it been what you have had envisioned from the beginning? We never envisioned that we would be today where we are. Uh, I didn't envision it. Uh, we knew it was a unique building, a, uni a unique story but we never believed that people would respond to it like it has. And from the bluegrass to Jennifer Wiggins, it's our manager. I mean, uh, everybody, all the volunteers have taken it to a level that none of us ever dreamed.
we want to keep it going as long as that we get the support from from the people and uh, and the musicians just I, I'm, I'm booked three months in advance now for bands so they're they're continually wanting to come and play and, and that we really like that they're, that's really pleasing to us knowing that that bands are that interested in coming to a little place called Grand.